this video we will examine the complications associated with gallstones. Typically we can divide the, these complications according to the site of gallstones. Uh, the gallstones can remain within the gallbladder and that is the commonest site where complications arise and uh, the gallbladder can get inflamed or infected. Uh, fluid can collect, sometimes this fluid can turn into pus. Gall Bladder are, gallbladders are prone to perforation. Diabetics are prone to a specific type of uh, gallbladder perforation associated with gangrene of the gallbladder wall. Sometimes the gallbladder perforation occurs towards the liver and forms liver abscess. Now look, let's examine when gallstones actually migrate out of the gallbladder. This can be to, into the main bile duct and cause jaundice or infection, which is a dangerous condition. Uh, the gallstones can cause a pancreatitis once the gallstones enter the bowel tube as they traverse the bowel tube. The pancreas can be incited, um, which is a very painful condition, frequently causing the patient to come to the hospital. Rarely, pancreatitis can cause serious complications. Um, the gallstones also can pop out of the gallbladder directly and enter the lumen of the bowel, causing bowel obstruction. A rare complication of gallstones, if they are resident for a long period of time, is cancer of the gallbladder. And now let's look at each of these individually. Acute cholecystitis is a complication of the gallbladder where a stone blocks the exit. So let's just draw that. That's a gallbladder. These are the stones. And one of these stones has now blocked the exit. The difference between acute cholecystitis and just biliary colic is that the stone just does not move. Uh, and there are other stones as well uh, in this diagram. But this one stone has caused an obstruction. It does not move for some time and that causes the thickness um, of the gallbladder wall to increase so that it becomes quite red and inflamed uh, and the fluid inside gets inflamed and sometimes gets infected. So the symptoms typically are unrelenting pain as opposed to the pain that goes away uh, after about half an hour to six hours. Sometimes patients may have temperature and sometimes they may vomit. This pain typically is uh, on the right side of the abdomen, under the rib cage, and it tends to go to the right side. So what do we do for this condition? Um, ideally, the patient should have an operation, um, but before that, pain relief is required and sometimes antibiotics are given. Ultimately, as I said, the treatment is to remove the gallbladder by way of a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. And this can be done in this acute condition, acute cholecystitis, if the presentation is within three days. If it is longer than three days, then most surgeons would wait for up to six weeks and allow the gallbladder to cool off. Rarely, patients present with such severe symptoms that a tube has to be inserted into the gallbladder before the operation to drain out all of the pus. Uh, and to allow the gallbladder to cool off and for the infection to settle down. That is called a cholecystostomy. This is a temporary arrangement, um, which is then removed uh, a few weeks later or at the time of the operation. Empyema of the gallbladder is a condition where when a stone it blocks the exit of the gallbladder, uh, the gallbladder can get infection, but this time the infection now turns into pus. Uh, this is a dangerous condition because pus um, means a more dangerous form of infection. Treatment typically involves antibiotics and sometimes draining the gallbladder through a procedure where a tube is inserted, usually under local anesthetic using ultrasound machine. That is what was mentioned previously. And ultimately, as before, the treatment is removal of the gallbladder. Mucosal of a gallbladder is a similar condition, but in this case, the stone causes obstruction but rather than infection, just a whole lot of fluid collects in a thickened gallbladder, which causes the size of the gallbladder sometimes to enlarge quite significantly. And yet again, uh, you would have guessed the treatment is uh, removal of the gallbladder. Acutely, when the patient presents um, antibiotics and pain relief, uh, medication are given as well as some medications to control nausea and vomiting that sometimes may be present. Uh, yet again we see that a stone has blocked the gallbladder and there is pressure building on the wall of the gallbladder over here which has become thickened but 
a little part of it may lose its blood supply and weaken and allow some of the contents to pour out. Typically they would not go freely in the abdomen but just form a collection uh, or a puddle next to the gallbladder. Uh, and if, that's, if this happens then it is usual to think of doing an operation. Sometimes surgeons may wish to drain the gallbladder and this collection by inserting tubes from the skin as has been previously shown like that. Uh, sometimes this collection may need to be drained separately but at times just controlling the gallbladder seems to do the trick. Rarely the gallbladder can perforate towards the liver and into the liver giving rise to an abscess right next to it. Uh, and yet again the treatment is similar initially by inserting a tube to drain the gallbladder. Sometimes a separate tube is inserted into the liver abscess cavity to drain that and once everything has cooled off uh, then an operation will be required. In either of these conditions antibiotics and pain relief is, uh, is administered. Now really in diabetics uh, a condition of the gallbladder may arise where patients may present even without any gallstones where gangrene tends, tends to form within the wall of the gallbladder and making it weak and hence, hence prone to uh, perforation. This condition can only be um, diagnosed by way of a CT scan uh, or a MRI scan and once seen uh, it mandates uh, an urgent operation to remove the gallbladder. Sometimes stones in the gallbladder can make their way through the tube connecting the gallbladder to the main bile duct into the main bile duct as, as seen over here. And you can see that a stone has moved out of the gallbladder into the main bile duct. In doing so, it churns itself against the wall of the bile duct and that is a very painful condition. It is slightly different to biliary colic because this time the pain is like a band in the upper abdomen all the way around as opposed to the normal bilirubin colic which tends to be more on the right side. Uh, and as these stones make their way they can get impacted in the bile tube causing the bile to pool up and the liver is not a collection point or a repository for bile and patients can get jaundice. So pain and jaundice are two features of a bile duct stones. Rarely this bile can get infected and that is a very dangerous condition called cholangitis uh, because this infection can be life-threatening and requires urgent um, medical attention uh, and antibiotics have to be given at the right dose at the right time early on in the course of the treatment. Now the physician treating you may choose to have the stones removed by way of endoscopy where a tube is passed through the mouth into the stomach and this tube as you can see parks itself right next to the opening of the bile tube and it makes this opening slightly bigger and then a wire is passed with a balloon attached to it which then trolls the stone out and clears the duct. Following that uh, a gallbladder surgery can be performed. Equally um, these stones can also be removed at the time of surgery uh, if the surgeon prefers and this can be done both as keyhole operation or as an open operation. This figure shows uh, the condition of acute gallstone pancreatitis. Uh, you, you can see the gallstones within the gallbladder and these have migrated out. One of these has come further down here in the bile tube inciting the pancreas to become very inflamed. This is an, a very painful condition Frequently the patients end up in the hospital. This pain is significantly different than the acute biliary colic and it tends to be more in the middle and going towards the back. In the hospital pain relief and supportive measures are provided and rarely unfortunately uh, this condition can progress and cause serious complications. Gallstone ileus um, is a rather strange name for describing a con condition where the gallstones, as you can see over here in the gallbladder, tend to over time exert pressure on the wall of the gallbladder to the point where the gallbladder wall perforates. But instead of gallstones falling out, which also sometimes happens, uh, they tend to exert pressure on the wall of 
the small bowel, I'm just drawing this wall of the duodenum uh, for, illustrative per for illustrative purposes. So instead of moving out into the main cavity, they tend to fall inside the small bowel. And these stones, as they travel down, can then just cause small bowel obstruction. Uh, this is a condition called Goldstone alias. Uh, they can sometimes go into the large bowel as well. And the treatment for that, especially if patients present with intestinal obstruction, is to have an operation. Typically, the patients present with abdominal pain and vomiting. And when imaging is performed, such as X-ray or a CT scan, you can see stones within the gallbladder and a similar appearing density, i.e. a stone, within the lumen of the bowel causing obstruction. So as I said before, um, these patients require uh, an operation. Cancer of the gallbladder is a rare uh, complication of chronic gallstones. They tend to irritate uh, the lining of the gallbladder and typically uh, the lining, uh, which is the mucosa, develops a polyp, uh, which is a growth within the gallbladder and then this polyp can get bigger over time. Now, there are certain parts of the country where the association between gallstones and gallbladder cancer is a lot higher. Uh, and in those countries, uh, gallstones mandate the removal of the gallbladder. In general, though, if your gallstones do not, are not causing symptoms, uh, then the gallbladder does not have to be removed. Uh, how we treat gallbladder cancer depends on the stage of the gallbladder, uh, of the gallbladder cancer, and its spread, whether it's local or it's spread elsewhere. Um, ideally, we would like to do an operation, what's called a radical resection, uh, to clear the patient of the cancer. In summing up, um, it would be safe to say that complications mandate removal of the gallbladder. The timing of any such procedure would be dependent on a number of factors and is best discussed with your surgeon or the healthcare facility where you are being treated. Gallbladder cancer is a rare complication uh, and if this is suspected, then it's important to be referred to a specialist team urgently. Thank you very much.